Greetings. In this video, we're going to take a look at problems that deal with borders. Sometimes picture frames, sometimes gardens, rims around things. Yeah, we're going to talk about the algebra that's related to these. And these are typical uh, standardized test questions. Let's get started. This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. Well, here's our picture frame problem. Now, our problem says that we have a picture that's seven inches longer than it is wide. It's surrounded by a frame that is two inches wide all the way around. So what do we have to find? Well, we have to find a number of things here. What are the dimensions of the picture? Uh, what's the dimension of the picture with the frame? What's the area of the picture? What's the area of the picture with the frame? And then, of course, what is the area of only the frame? Now, when you're doing a standardized test question, this is sometimes how they look, and it's overwhelming. There's a lot of information going on. So let's pick at this one piece at a time. So right here we're told a picture is 7 inches longer than it is wide. So here's our width. We're going to call our width. It's unknown. And since we're talking about what the... Uh, length is, right? It says the picture is seven inches longer. That's telling us how to set up basically the length here. Um, all right, so I know that this entire length is longer, so we don't know what x is, but this side is not only, however long x is, but it's even longer by seven more inches. Okay, so whatever this side is five, then this would be 12. Maybe this is six, and that would make this this side 13. All right, so whatever this this side is, this side's going to be seven inches longer. All right, so now we've got our setup. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now it says, what are the dimensions of the picture? All right, so the dimensions, that means what is the length, what is the width? Okay, well, I already know that the length is x plus 7, and I know the width is x. That's it. Part B asks, what are the dimensions of the picture with the frame? Okay, now this gets a little bit tricky. Okay, because I know that this distance right here, that is two inches. I know that this distance right here is two inches. It's two inches all the way around. Okay, so I know that this distance right here is two inches. This distance right here is two inches. So two inches for all of these guys. So maybe I'll put that all the way around. Two inches. Okay, so now as we consider what are the dimensions of the picture with the frame, in other words, the whole shebang. So I know that this distance right here, this little distance is X, but then I've got two inches there and two inches there. So that means x plus 2 plus 2, that would be x plus 4, right? x plus 2 plus 2, that's x plus 4. Okay, so that's our new width. That's the width of the picture with the frame. Okay, now let's do the length. Okay, well, we know the length of the picture is x plus 7, but I got 2 inches here, I got 2 inches there, so it's going to be x plus 7 plus 2 plus 2. x plus 7 plus 2 plus 2, let's see, if that's x plus 11 x plus 7 plus 2 plus 2 is x plus 11. And there you go. So I've got my width and I've got my length of the picture with the frame. All right, so part C says, what is the area of the picture? So now keep in mind, we're going to focus right there on that picture. So if we calculate area for any rectangle, area is length times width. So I know the area is going to be the length, x plus 7. And we're going to multiply that by the width. So there you go. You could leave it like this, or you could multiply this together, and you could get x squared plus 7x. Depends on how you'd like to represent the answer, but of course those are two equivalent expressions. Part D says, what is the area of the picture with the frame? In other words, this whole area, the whole thing. So if you want the area, again, area of a rectangle is length times width. So, and it doesn't matter which order you multiply. So I always like to put the smaller guy first, but it uh, doesn't matter. 
Okay, so you could leave your answer like this, right? Length times width. Or you could actually do the double distributive property. I hate to use the word foil, first outer, inner, last, but if you could do all that. I'm not going to show the math. Uh, but uh, 4x and 11x, that makes 15x. And 4 times 11 is 44. So you could represent the area either way. Since this problem doesn't specify, uh, most teachers, math teachers, AP teachers, teachers, uh, or people who are scoring uh, standardized tests would accept it either way with the directions here that are listed. All right, so we've already established what the uh, area is of the picture and the picture with the frame. And we're going to need those two pieces of information to get the area of only the frame. Okay, so picture what's going on. We know the area of the whole thing, right? The area. This is the everything. In other words, this is the picture with the frame. We know that it's x plus 4 times x plus 11. Okay, then we also know what the area of the picture is. Uh, in other words, just the picture. Okay, so the area of just the picture is x times x plus 7. All right, now we're going to need these two because it says, what is the area of only the frame? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take everything, right, the area of everything, and we're going to subtract away the area of the picture. And that will give us just the area of what's left over, which will be the frame. Okay, so, I mean, you could kind of imagine that because we're taking the whole picture area and we're going to subtract off just the picture, right? So this is with the picture and the frame. And then we're going to uh, subtract off that area. And by subtracting, what that is going to do, if we're just considering areas, think about these as areas, then what's going to happen is you're going to be left with the picture. Kind of a hole in the middle. And then, therefore, you'll just have this rim. You're going to figure out what the area of that rim is. So let's do that. So the area that we're being asked to do, just the frame. Okay, well, we know that that's going to be x plus 4 times x plus 11 minus x, x plus 7. Now, again, this is pretty good. Um, I mean, if you multiply this through, which I did a moment ago, that was 15x plus 44. And this, again, was x squared plus 7x. Now, of course, there's a fatal error that people make. i got to subtract all of that. Okay, so you got to be careful there. So x squared subtract x squared. x squareds cancel. 15x's minus 7. That's going to give you 8x's. And then 44 minus nothing, well, that's just 44. All right, so there you go. This would be the expression. I mean, there's many ways that you could express this area of just the frame. I mean, you could either use this complicated looking expression or you could do this simplified expression and either of the two are correct. It just depends on which form you're being asked to put it in. This one doesn't specify, right? This problem doesn't specify what ordered or what your final answer should look like. All right, anyway, that's that. We're done. All the different parts of the problem are done. Wasn't really so bad to do after all. So make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our literally hundreds of free lessons, interactive quizzes, and of course, instructional videos. It's been fun. Let's do it again sometime. Hmm. It's a zebra. Is a zebra black with white stripes or is it white with black stripes? It's one for the philosophers. <laughs>